video. Hello, welcome in the new video with the new point. In the earlier video, you have studied about an imaginary village that is the Palampur. The Palampur is an example of well developed village. If in this way all villages of India would be developed very easily, India would develop. Now we are moving ahead with the next point in this video, organization of production. This organization of production is another way can be say the factors of production. This is the need of the production. Whenever whichever product you are going to make for that production, these are the four factors which are very essential. Without these factors, the production cannot be taken. The aim of production is to produce the goods and services that we want. Every production want or the having aim to produce the goods and services which are needed by the people. There are four requirements for production of goods and services. Whenever, whichever product you are making, any goods or any service you are making, for that, these are the four factors which are needed land, labor, physical capital, the physical capital again divided in a two part that is the fixed capital and working capital and the last but very important factor is entrepreneur. About these four we are going to see in detail in this video. From this four product, four requirement the first factor, first requirement is a land. Whichever, whenever you are making any product, maybe this is any factory, plant or farming also. For that, the land is a very essential thing. Along with land, natural resources such as water, timber or minerals. These are the needs of the production. Next requirement of the production, that is the labor. Labor that is the people who do work, the people who are doing work. They are called labor, they provide the work. Labor can be classified educated and manual workers. There are two kind of labor we needing for any production. The educated labor, the skilled people and manual worker also. In both kind of these workers are needing in the labor. Each worker is providing the labor necessary for production, whether he is unskilled or whether he is skilled, both are providing the labor for the production. This is the second important factor needing for the production. The next factor is the physical capital. For production, the capital is needing. The variety of input required at every stage during the production. This is the physical capital. In physical capital, the fixed capital is also. Now, what is the fixed capital? Fixed capital is money which invested in the plant and machine, building and land, or computers and devices. For farmer also, the fixed capital is here. Like plug, sophisticated machine, that's our generator, turbine, computers, etc. Tools, machines, buildings can be used in production over many years. These things can be used for long time, for long period. That is why this is called fixed capital. The another capital is working capital. In a working capital, raw material and money in a hand. This involves in the raw material. Raw materials and money in a hand. Production requires a variety of raw materials such as the yarn used in the weaver and the clay used by the potter. So raw material is needed in every production. Also some money is always required during production to make payment and buy other necessary items or other activities. The money are also needed in a hand. Raw materials and money in hand are called working capital. So this is the working capital. We have studied the fixed capital and working capital 
in these both slides. The fourth factor of the production is human capital or management. That is the knowledge and enterprise needed to run the company. This is called, he is called the entrepreneur. You will need knowledge and enterprise to able to put together land, labor and physical capital. It is needing by someone to take these all things together. The labor, land and the capital. And produce an output either to use yourself or to sell in the market. This, these days are called human capital. About it we are going to see in the next chapter also. So the entrepreneur, what he is doing here? The entrepreneur means that he is the person who set up business, who is starting the business or businesses, taking the financial risk in hope of the profit. He is called the entrepreneur and this is the fourth requirement fourth factor of the production. The management is required to put together land, labor and physical capital in the effective manner. He is called entrepreneur or this is called human capital. This is also very essential need of the production. Every production is or organized by combining land, labor, physical capital and human capital. Every production is worked in this way when these all are coming together. So that is why these are known as factors of production. As we read through the story of Palampur, we will learn more about the first three factors of production. The fourth uh, factor separately we will study in the second chapter. For convenience, we will refer to the physical capital as the capital in this chapter. The physical capital is referred as the capital. So here in this video, you have studied the four factors of the production or the organization of production. With the reference of these factors, we are going to study about the Palampur. In the next video, we will see farming in the Palampur.